Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to replace a print head in an L1800 DTF printer. Uh, you can see this machine is a, is a mess, so we're going to be doing a lot of work here. I'm going to replace the ink lines and everything else eventually, and I'll show you guys how to do all that as well. So the first thing we're going to want to do is um, we want to do a proper shutdown on the machine and get the carriage loose from the capping station. So you'll start the machine and uh, maybe put it into a head cleaning and then just shut it off when the carriage is off of the capping station so you can uh, slide the carriage around. It's important to remember that after you get the carriage loose, you're going to want to uh, unplug the machine totally before doing any electrical work. Next, we're going to remove the, uh, the cover that holds the FFC cables into place. The cover has two little clips that are holding it down, and if you don't remove that cover, you're likely going to damage the FFC cables. So what I've done here is I've, I've got a little flat head, and I pop off one of the, uh, the little holders there. You can see the clip, and then there's another one at the top there. After those holders are unclipped, we can uh, have free access to the FFC cable. All right, now that we've got the, uh, the little door off of there, we can remove the dampers. I usually like to use a, a plastic bag, or in this case, I'm using a, a rubber glove to put the dampers in so I don't create a, an inky mess all over the place and make things worse. So I'll remove the dampers one at a time and then uh, place them into the bag uh, so I can prepare to remove the printhead. Try not to squeeze the sides of the dampers because that is how the ink comes out. So if you'll notice... I keep my hands on the on the plastic tops and bottoms when I remove the dampers just to kind of keep any ink from dripping. Next, we're going to remove the three screws that hold the, uh, the print head onto the carriage. So you can see the three screws there pointed out in the video. And we'll just go ahead and remove those. It's important to keep in mind that those screws usually are not magnetic. So it's handy to have a pair of needle nose pliers if needed. Okay, so we've got our screws out and uh, we're just going to Pick the head up by the little ridges there of the side of the manifold, and we're, we're going to prepare to remove the uh, FFC cables. Here are the FFC cables. Um, we're going to be careful when removing those. We don't want to damage the teeth or anything like that. So I'll just pull the cables out one at a time and just try to keep them straight. Uh, try not to drop them down into any kind of ink. You don't want to you don't want to get anything on those cables You want to keep them clean So now we can see the face of the print head and this one on the face is looking good But the manifold which is where all the ink is is not good So I'll place that print head upside down and, and I'll attempt to try to save it um, Usually when it's that clogged, it's it's not something I'll be able to do Okay, so we've got our print head out and um, our cables are nice and clean. There's no damage or moisture to the teeth. And in today's video, I'm going to install a, um, a new print head. It's going to be an L805 print head with a L1800 adapter board. So let me show you guys how to do that. This adapter board that I'm going to be installing um, will allow us to use an L805 print head on an L1800 or R1390 uh, printer. So it's a great little uh, board, and you guys will see how I install one. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that board. Uh, if you have a new L1800 head or R1390 head, you can uh, just like, skip the board part and, uh, and follow the rest of the steps in the, in the video.
We have the uh, L805 adapter board available on the website. Um, I think they're $35 if uh, anybody's interested in buying one. Okay, so here is our adapter board. And if you notice, you've got uh, four different sized uh, pins, connectors here. Uh, that is for the L1800 board or cables to be able to connect on one side and the L805 cables to connect on the other because um, the L1800 and the R1390 have two different pin counts. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, carefully um, slide our L1800 cables into the correct end of the uh, adapter board. And what you need to look out for is the little pins on the side, these holders that they put on the cables. Uh, to ensure that the cables stay in place. You just want to slide it in correctly. Take your time, slide it in there. And then you're going to push down on those pins, on those two little uh, clips on the outside. And that will hold the board, or hold the cable rather, into place uh, just to make sure that you've got a good solid connection. You can see that I'm pushing down on them there. Uh, here's a closer look at the at the uh, pins that I'm talking about, or the, the clips, rather, that, that hold the cable into place. So you'll want to make sure that you've got those pushed down so you know the, the cable's got a good connection. So on the other side, we're going to just repeat the procedure. You're going to pull up on the clips to open the uh, the receptacle there so you can stick your cable in. And you're going to slide the cable in nice and easy. Make sure you get it in there without hurting the teeth. Then we're going to push down on the clips. Make sure that the cable's being held tight. After getting the uh, L1800 cables in, we need to kind of first figure out how we're going to set it in there. Now we're going to set the, uh, the new board in. So there's a little slot for it, and you just kind of fold the cables underneath. And you can set it in there just like so. And you'll see that it sits perfect inside that little uh, position there on the carriage. So what I've done is I've, I've folded the uh, original uh, L1800 cables underneath and then just slid the board into those two little brackets there on the carriage. Next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull the board back out and I'm going to attach the L805 printhead. So the L805 print head, this adapter board, it'll come with uh, two new little cables, little short cables, to make the jump over from the adapter board to uh, the L805 print head. So I'm going to follow the same procedure and just uh, plug those cables in carefully, make sure that the, uh, the clips are holding the cables tight, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and attach the print head after I've got the new cables onto the L805 side. Okay, so I've got all my cables attached. I'm giving them all a little tug just to make sure that they're in there appropriately. And next we'll grab the A805 print head and uh, attach it. Here is my new L805 print head um, with the nozzle check and, and all the stuff that you get from the manufacturer in the box. Uh, sometimes I'll take a look at the nozzle test sheet. Uh, but it I've never really had a problem there. All right, so here's our new L805 print head. Um, you can see that the pins are different counts than they are on the R1390s. And so we've got our adapter board and, and our new cables. And we're going to go ahead and slide those in one at a time. Um, you're going to want to start with the, uh, the bigger cable first, since it's on the top. And just carefully uh, slide those in and not to, you don't want to harm the teeth or anything like that. 
So top one first, and then the, the smaller lower cable next. All right, so once the plugs, the cables are in, um, we can go ahead and carefully set the print head down we, into the carriage. We want to be careful about not hurting the face of the print head, that gold-plated uh, area. That's where the nozzles are, so we want to make sure we don't scratch anything up on the face of that print head. So we'll set it down in nicely and, and fold our cables back into place so we can get our adapter board uh, set into position. All right, so we've got everything in place. Um, the board is in position. The new print head is in the carriage. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go put the screws back in to hold the print head into place. It's important to remember not to uh, over tighten those screws. They don't need to be super tight. Just tighten them up until they feel a little snug. If you go too hard, you could damage the carriage. All right, our print head is in place. So next what I'll do is I'll just kind of push my fingers in there and just kind of feel it to make sure it's not jiggling around and, and everything is as tight as it needs to be. Um, if the print head is loose, then you're going to have some blurry looking prints and a lot of other problems that you'll be fighting. And, and uh, it'll just be because those screws aren't uh, in place and holding the print head correctly. So try to avoid that. So we before we put our uh, our cover on, what I like to do is I'll, uh, I'll put a little piece of gaffer's tape right there just to kind of uh, hold the, uh, the cables into position, you know, just to make sure that the FFCs aren't getting uh, bent or, or anything like that. And you can see the way that they, that they fold into there. So it's, uh, it should be pretty obvious how they need to go. All right, so now I'm just going to double and triple check everything just to make sure that everything is seated correctly and uh, I'm not setting myself up for failure here. Uh, I'll go through, make sure the board's sitting correctly, the print head again, make sure my gaffer tape is holding. Uh, I'll double check the fold on the cables and uh, just kind of go through the whole setup uh, before I put the clip back on. Okay, so everything is in place and we've checked it all. Uh, next, we're going to just pop our cover back on. We're just going to make sure that those, those two uh, pins line up and, and we'll just slide it back in. All right, so here's our machine with, uh, with the new dampers and the new print head and everything in. Um, after you've uh, put the clip back in from the last... Uh, Part of the video there you can just go ahead and reattach the dampers if you're if you're not uh replacing the print head i mean not replacing the ink lines so um here is our finished video and uh and we're going to get to see it print next okay so here's our machine printing um i've got it filled with a cleaning solution and distilled water that's the way i like to test machines after i'm done refurbishing them but if you look closely you'll see the uh the prints coming out there on the film uh, especially over there in the uh, the right-hand side, you'll see the top of his hat.